Cherokee uh, 39 Hotel traffic departing prior to arrival full length is the number. They're taking the runway now. Runway 30 right, cleared to land. Caution like turbulence and base turn your discretion. Frequently flying back and forth from Southern to Northern California for family, we rarely, if ever, get to stop in between. But that all changes today as we visit our first towered airport in the Central Valley, Meadows Field in Bakersfield, California. Now for the sake of full disclosure, this is actually not our first approach of the day. On our actual first approach, one of our cameras never started recording and the other camera mount rotated so much the camera was pointing straight down. So yeah, things don't always work out, but what became apparent right away is that Bakersfield Tower has some of the friendliest controllers you will deal with. We asked for a lap in the pattern and something else which you'll hear very soon and they were so accommodating. Originally called Kern County Airport Number 1, it used to be located one mile west, but after a year after its construction in 1926, it was moved. In 1935, Kern County bought the airport from the Chamber of Commerce, making it the first county-owned airport in the nation. But then 1939 happened and we know what's next, right? Yep, military took it over for the war effort for the night fighter squadrons. Now it's called Meadows Field after Cecil Meadows, who was the county director of airports from 1935 to 1957. As I already mentioned, Meadows Field is a towered airport and has two runways, one two right, three zero left at 7,700 by 100 feet, and the one we're landing on today, one two left and three zero right at a crazy long 10,849 by 150 feet. And it's rated to handle 747s. Now what's glaringly apparent, as you see here, is a 3,500 foot displaced threshold. I'm pretty sure it's to keep the commercial airliners as high as possible for noise for the nearby neighborhoods, but let us know if you can confirm this in the comments. Either way, it's really long. I mean, it's longer than our home airport's entire runway length. The airport does have instrument approaches, the ILS for 30 right and RNAVs for both runways, both directions. So four RNAV approaches. And as far as weather, it is the Central Valley, so dry, hot summers and some rainy winters. I usually try to fly above the clouds because when the clouds are scattered, it gets pretty turbulent, which I know all too well. Before I got my instrument rating on one trip home, we remained under the clouds because I couldn't trust that I could get back down, even though there were big holes. Visibility was nearly unlimited, but the turbulence was horrible. I can't tell you how much I love having my instrument rating. Hotel turn right at Foxtrot and contact ground point seven one off. Good day. Uh, right at Foxtrot and then over to ground. Three nine hotel. Thank you. I probably could have gone off at Echo, but with nobody in the pattern and nobody approaching, there was no rush. And you guys get to see a little bit more of the airport. So there was something about how friendly Tower was that made me ask this question after I got my ground clearance. Bakersfield ground, arrow 103 Niner Hotel, clear of 30 right at Boxtrot for Bakersfield Jet Center. Air 193 Niner Hotel, Bakersfield ground, taxi to Bakersfield Jet Center via Alpha. Bakersfield Jet Center via Alpha, 3 Niner Hotel. And do you have uh, time for a quick question? Affirmative. Do you guys do tower tours? Yes, uh, when were you looking to do the tour? Um, I don't have a date, I just didn't know how much uh, lead time you guys needed for me to call in. Roger, usually, uh, if it's, if it's slow enough, we could do it the same day, or sometimes they want maybe uh, a day in the head. 
Ah, uh, gotcha. You guys wouldn't be open today, would you? Uh, let me check. We got one of the supervisors here. Uh, stand by. Thank you. Unfortunately, they weren't available today, but they did provide us a number we could call to schedule a tour in the future. I almost thought we would have gotten in, but it's okay. It was already getting late, but seriously, how much nicer could they have been? Thanks so much, Bakersfield Tower. We will definitely be seeing you soon. But I would like to clarify something. We've learned that not all of you guys are pilots and you don't have to be a pilot to visit any of these towers. We've gone to Ontario, Riverside, John Wayne Tower, and most of the time, they just need an ID and for you to be a citizen. And even if you're not a citizen, that's not a deal breaker. It just means you'll have to fill out more paperwork. The other thing is a lot of times it's hard to find the right number for who to call for these tours. So now I just usually ask them on the ground frequency and most likely you'll get a direct number to the right person, making this process so much easier. But don't forget, be mindful how busy ground is. I only ever ask this question if I find that the frequency chatter is to a minimum. So there is commercial traffic here and they have two airlines, American and United Airlines. And there was definitely a steady stream of commercial traffic while we were here. Not that it shows on this 10 mile taxi, but trust me, they were busy. What we didn't know, which I wish we did when we arrived, was that there's a Kern County Museum nearby. And if you're an EAA member, which we are, it's free admission. So I guess that means when we come back for our tower tour, we'll also be going to the museum. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that one of my favorite things about this airport is that you can get flight following on the ground. And the reason I know that is because Tower was constantly asking pilots if they wanted flight following, which is always awesome. It's one of my favorite features of any airport. But I have a theory that it's because they have a radar system that they're able to provide that. I don't know if that's true, but if you guys know, let us know in the comments. Besides commercial traffic, also be aware of the heavy student traffic happening here. And that's because the California Aeronautical University's main campus is located at this airport. This is one of those airports that doesn't have transient parking, but it does have three FBOs, Atlantic Aviation, Epic Jet Center, and our choice of the day, Bakersfield Jet Center. We're really partial to the Jet Centers. We've had really good experience with them. So we just chose the first one and that was Bakersfield. I called them before departing Corona. Will helped me out over the phone and was really pleasant to speak with. And when we arrived, they were waiting for us. They do have courtesy cars, which we did borrow so we could go get some lunch nearby. Now, just a reminder, this was our second time coming in because of our camera snafu. But rest assured, on our first arrival here, the team was outside waiting for us, letting us know where to park and asking what services we required. All very professional. So in summary, it has one of the longest displaced thresholds of any airports I've ever seen. Tower tours are available if you call ahead. It does have commercial traffic. And you can get flight following with ground. We didn't know what to expect when coming here, but that's kind of the fun part. We're now leaving excited to know we'll be back for a tower tour in the future to meet these friendly controllers. Thank you all again so much for all your comments. And I know we say this every week, but really it's what makes us so excited to keep this Where's Transient Parking train going. And we even have some new stuff in the works for the new year. 
we've made a lot of adjustments to our videos. I mean, you can tell the difference from our first video to today, but really it's been all thanks to all you guys' suggestions and requests. So don't be shy. If there's anything else you'd like for us to cover on these videos, please let us know. We'd love to hear it. And that concludes it for Meadows Field. Thank you guys again for being just so awesome. And until next week, go fly, go discover.